Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Right about now, most of us are in a holiday kind of mood, but that sometimes leads to overspending. So here to make sure we are making the right year-end money moves is our resident financial guru, Janai Thornton. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hey, happy holidays. Happy holidays. See, we're supposed to be festive, but then you come in here talking about money. <laughs> with a to-do list. I know, with right. a to-do list. A lot of us are ready for the holidays, we're ready for vacations, but yeah. we need to do things at our job to make sure we're setting ourselves selves up for success moving into 2020. Right. What are those things? Yeah, so I don't want to be a fun holiday killer, mm -hmm. but there are some things that we need to do before we're going to be off okay. um, from work for a little bit. So number one, you go on a mosey on down to HR. And you really want to just check in on your benefits. What has changed? Has your deductible changed? Like what's going on? Just mm -hmm. to make sure that you're going to be prepared and you won't get caught off guard as you're making your appointments and everything for next year. Okay. Another thing is, um, you want to either sign up for or increase your 401k. Like meaning increase it by putting more into it? You want to put more into it. Okay. So if you haven't signed up at all, this is the perfect time to do it. And okay. if you can't commit a lot, Maybe start at 1%. Maybe mm -hmm. start at $10 a check, $20 a check. And if you've already signed up, congratulations. But if you're at 4%, maybe you need to go to 5 Quick question about 401k. What right. if someone who was in and out of work at right. one point, <laughs> you know, in radio, and mm -hmm. then when you just needed that 401k to help sustain you, you right. just depleted it? Right. And that's I mean, for someone who did that. Right, for somebody, <laughs> <laughs> which is not you. Right, it's right. not me. Um, that's really common, Rashawn, mm -hmm. that people end up having periods in their life where they had to pull on that money and live. So what happens when we take our 401k money, what the IRS says is, we're gonna charge you a 10% penalty for taking the money early, mm. and you have to pay regular withholding on that federal and state as okay. well. Yeah. So just be ready to pay that. Right, yes. right, right. But you can always start over. Absolutely. It's never too late okay, to start. Because you know a lot of times people get in their 40s and their 50s and they're like, oh, I'm already behind and mm -hmm. they won't commit. Mm -hmm. You can literally $10 a check, $20 a check, 2%, whatever you can do, but you gotta get started. Every amount counts. Every amount counts. Yes. Other thing you wanna do at your job is you wanna update your withholding. If you're someone who always owes when you file your taxes, that means you need to make a change. If you're someone who always gets a big refund and maybe you want more of your money throughout the year, you wanna change your withholding as well. And then the last thing you wanna do is flexible spending accounts, FSA. Did you ever have an FSA? No. It's, it's the gift that keeps on giving. It's one of my favorites. But it literally, it looks like this. It's like a little credit card. And what it allows you to do is you get money taken out of your check. And you can use that for dependent care expenses or you can use it for your medical expenses. Wow. So like your co-pays or your prescriptions. Oh, but the okay. cool thing is this money comes out of your check and gets set aside before taxes are withheld. Oh. So when you go to the doctor and you it's, pay your co-pays, it's, it's already, already there. Here. Yes. Can you just do that as a contractor? Um, you can't do it as a contractor, okay. but if your employer doesn't offer it, I want you to ask for it. Okay. And a lot of people, their companies offer it and they're not taking advantage of it. Back to the update tax withholdings. What if somebody... <laughs> didn't really put aside a lot for if they're like a 1099 person they really right. didn't put aside a yes. lot of money You're right and then you go and you know you owe a lot of money you you go, owe. what would that person do <laughs> okay so for that person who's not you either right right um, it's actually really really easy to set up a payment plan with the IRS okay so the key is you will not get a payment plan if you have not filed all of your tax returns okay so you have to be current okay um, you actually go to irs.gov mm -hmm. it's gonna take you literally about 10 minutes to complete the form. If you owe $50,000 or less, you automatically get approved for a payment plan. Oh! And, and you could take up to five years to pay them back. Oh, that would be great for that person. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it would be. Yes. But no, they've made it really, really okay. easy. But So you um, don't have to be so scared knowing if you didn't really do all the proper things. And even if you know that you owe, please file. Yeah, oh, I guess. Okay, you got Th file. That person definitely will <laughs> file. Uh, let's talk about small businesses okay. or people who own businesses right. and uh, what they should be doing this time of year. Okay, mm -hmm. so for all of our entrepreneurs, um, you have got to have a separate business savings account. Okay. Okay, and you got to get in the habit of once a month or every time you get paid, you take a percentage of what you made and you transfer that over to your business savings account. So we've been taught that from a personal perspective, but not always from a business perspective. Yeah, never. And that's one of the biggest mistakes I made as an entrepreneur. I wish I would have started saving earlier. Mm -hmm. Then I would have had more money. Um, and even if you can only do a half a percent, yeah. two percent, 
no matter what you make, set that over to the side. Yeah. Um, decide what percentage to save. I want you to review and assess 2019 financially for your business. Because a lot of times we're just rushing into the next year, but anything we need to cut back on, anything yeah. that we need to do differently, we need to take some time and reflect financially. Um, I want you to create a 2020 budget, even if it's on a scrap piece of paper, um, you're just filling in a few things, but a budget just gives you some boundaries. Yes. It just lets you know when to pay attention when something is out of alignment. Mm -hmm. So I want people to do that. And then last, schedule the time when you're going to get your business taxes done. You're not going to focus on that right now, but are you going to do it in February? Are you doing that in January? Literally put that in your calendar. Okay. And you, I mean, you always encourage us money meetings. Oh my gosh. You have got to have them. So what that means is you have a committed time where you are going to stop. No social media, no TV, no kids, no distractions, where you're literally going to focus on your finances. And so whether it's business or personal, um, if you live with somebody, you need to do it together. It may be better to do those in public, mm -hmm. possibly, because it might be. It I can was going to say <laughs> that because money is just always so difficult, oh especially gosh. amongst couples. Well, well, some couples. Some couples do a great job. Right. Some couples don't. Right. Right. So you have got to do it and you have to have a schedule. If it's always the second Tuesday of the month, no kids, no interruptions, find a safe space. Public can be good because it can kind of help you yes. keep your voices in order. Or a glass of wine, maybe. Uh, whatever's going to help got where you it. can stay focused yes. and stay focused on the point because it's about the money, but we're bringing all those emotions. <sighs> Yep. It's so much, so many emotions attached attached to money. Yeah, but we we it. have to do that. We have to get in the habit because we work so hard. Yes. But you can't squeeze money around all the different things that you have going My on. My goodness, you yes. have given us a wealth of knowledge as you do every time you are here. Yes. I so appreciate you. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you. Okay. Uh, make sure you keep everything on track so we can start off 2020 like we are supposed to. Make sure you follow her on Instagram at Janine Thornton. The sister is together. Okay. <laughs>